Today we take a look at Psalm 26 through 30. Psalm 26 is a prayerful desire to act with integrity. Listen to verse 3 in Psalm 26. For your loving kindness is before my eyes, and I have walked in your truth. He walks in his truth. That's part of the integrity that he's seeking. Psalm 27. God is a God of hope and a God of security. Listen to verse 14 from Psalm 27. It says, Wait on the Lord, be of good courage, and he shall strengthen your heart. Wait, I say, on the Lord. Psalm 28. God, my rock, please hear me and answer me. Listen to verse 7 as we stop here for a moment in chapter 28. The Lord, he's my strength and my shield. My heart trusted in him, and I am helped. Therefore, my heart greatly rejoices, and with my song, I will praise him. Psalm 29, God's glory and strength, it thunders over the waters. Listen to these verses, verse 3 and verse 4. The voice of the Lord is over the waters. The God of glory thunders. The Lord is over many waters. The voice of the Lord is powerful, and the voice of the Lord is full of majesty. And then we have Psalm 30, our final one that we're looking at today. And it talks about being grateful for God's deliverance. Verse 11 through 12, here's what it says. Verse 11, you have turned for me my mourning into dancing. You have put off my sackcloth and clothed me with gladness. To this end, my glory may sing praise to you and not be silent. O oh Lord my God, I will give thanks to you forever. So in these Psalms, we, we find this, this, this great response to the Lord, that he gives integrity, that he gives hope and security, that he's a rock or strength, and one who delivers and is powerful and worthy of our praise. Take time to read these Psalms today as God is described in so many amazing, wonderful ways. A God who delivers, a God who thunders, a God who calls us to walk in integrity, and so many other things that we find in the wonderful book of Psalms. Take time this week, this day, as you go through your day to read the wonderful things about God in the book of Psalms.